games to get there. And first of all, we have the Duke's Mayo Bowl. Mayo. And, and that makes sense because the most it's, boring. it's as bland as it gets. <laughs> Vanilla bland. Wake Forest at Wisconsin. It is a bowl of mayo. Yes. The tw- this just I'm so glad the two and three Badgers are in a bowl game. Let this team have one final opportunity to just kick me in the teeth. <laughs> yeah, they've done us dirty this year. Yeah, I still, I, I, I always like the, I always like the Badgers, and I still do. They did kind of. This is a wonky year. They got all wonky, and I think they called. I think it's called Wake Forest because only students there will be awake throughout this whole game. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I, I'll watch it. I guess I think I'm going to watch all the bowl games, but. Uh, uh, this sucks. What's the pick? I always forget that we're supposed to be like talking about gambling and just like saying what sucks. All right. I'm taking Wake Forest here. Wisconsin can go to hell. They're getting <laughs> 10 points. I'm taking them. They've shown a great propensity to pile up points throughout the ACC season. And, you know, maybe Wisconsin, we saw them lose to the vertical passing inclined Northwestern team. So maybe we'll see. Wake Forest have some success. In any case, these teams are no nothing to write home about. I don't see a reason to give Wisconsin seven points against any Power Five team on a neutral slate. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, so take the dog. It's drastically different styles, and like the over under here is fifty two and a half, and it'll either be shattered. One way or another, it will not be close to that line. Yeah, it's yeah. we're looking at like 44 38 or like <laughs> 14, one or the other. <laughs> yeah, 